Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw an Allosaurus from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. Now, I know there's still a lot of dinosaurs that I've left to draw. I've been trying to draw a lot of them. The Therizinosaurus, the Quetzalcoatlus, Baby Blue, and a lot of others. If you guys have some more that you'd like me to draw, definitely let me know and I'll try my best. But thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Now to start off with our Allosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion, we're going to begin with the face. I'm going to start right here and we're going to begin by drawing a line that's going to come down and then we're going to bring it back up like this for the eye. Next we're just going to draw a little line that's going to go down and then up. Starting here, we're going to draw a couple little lines underneath it. Right above the eye, let's make a line that's going to go up and then down. Now starting up here, let's make another line that's going to go up to kind of like a point, and then we're going to bring this down to here. Next we'll make another little line that's going to come up, and then we're going to bring this down. Then starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. For the mouth, let's draw a line that's going to go down. We're going to come up, and then down again. Then we'll bring it up and down a little farther. Starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to go down. It's going to come up and then down like this. Next we'll bring this line down and then we'll come up here. You want to start right about here, we're going to come over and then we'll curve this up for the jaw. Right inside of here we'll draw a little line that curves down. Then on the top, let's give him a nice big row of sharp teeth. So we're going to make these all the way across the top. We'll do the same thing at the bottom. Nice row of sharp pointy teeth right across the bottom. Back here, let's make a line that's going to come down with a curve for the tongue. And then we'll draw another little line up here for the back of the mouth or for the other side. Now starting right about here, let's make a little line that's going to go over and then it's going to come down. And we're going to make a couple more little lines that are just going to kind of curve down. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down, we're going to come up, and then bring it back down. Next, starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to go up, and then it's going to come out here for the tail. We're going to make this come to a point, and we're going to make this get a little bit bigger as it comes back. Now, starting here, we want to work on the neck. We're going to begin by drawing a couple little curved lines up. Then we're going to bring this line down and then in. For the arms, let's start by drawing a line that's going to come down and another line that's going to come across here. We're going to make some claws, so we'll draw a line that's going to go up. It's going to come down to a point and back. We'll make another one that's going to come down to a point and back. And we'll draw one more right here. We're going to go down to a point and then curve it around. We'll add a couple little lines here for some wrinkles. Then we're going to bring this line back and we're going to come up here. Now 
Starting right about here towards the elbow, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna go down and then up for the stomach. Next, I wanna make the leg. So to draw the leg, we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come down. Then I'm gonna bring this line back here. I'm gonna bring this line down. And then right here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come down to a point and back. And another one down to a point and back. Then one more, we're gonna come down to a point and then over. Then we're gonna bring this line over and we're gonna come up here. Next, we're gonna bring this line back. And then starting here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come up to here. Next, I'm gonna make some little curved lines right across here on the toes, and then we'll put a couple little lines right behind them as well. Now, starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and then over, and then a line that's gonna come down for that other leg. I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come down to a point and then back, and then one more, it's gonna come down to a point and then back. I'm gonna bring this line up and over, and then we're just gonna bring it up here. We'll do that same thing, we'll add a couple little curved lines for the claws and then some extra little lines. And then I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna bring this line down here to make this tail look a little bit fatter. Next, I wanna add one more arm on here. So I'm gonna make a line that's just going to come out here. I'm gonna curve this down to a point, and then I'm gonna put one more that's gonna to come to a point. Then we're gonna bring this line back here. Then we're gonna add one more little claw here. Now that we have our basic shape, we wanna come in here and add some of the different details. So let's begin with the nose. I'm gonna start by making a line that's gonna go up and then it's gonna come down. And then a little curved line right here. We're gonna make like a long broken line right above the top and the bottom of the mouth. Then I'm gonna add a little curved line right here and another little curved line right around here. We're gonna add some little broken lines right up here for the neck, and then a couple more. Let's add a few little lines kind of right here, and a couple more by the arms too, just to show where there's some like movement and some wrinkling of the skin. We'll add a couple more little broken lines right here for the knee. And then a couple more little lines up here as well. We'll add some little curved lines for the claws. And a couple more. We're gonna add a little line that's gonna curve around here. These are kind of like little indentations in the head. I'm also gonna add a long kind of broken line right here and a couple more right around the body and a couple more coming up. Now right along the back of the head, I'm gonna put some small little spikes and then as they get towards the back of the neck, they're gonna start getting a little bit bigger. 
Then we're gonna start making them a little bit smaller as they come back down the back of our Allosaurus here. So we're just gonna add these all along here. And we're just going to continue these all across the back. And we're gonna take them all the way down to the end of the tail. We're gonna get really small down here. And there you go, there is your drawing of an Allosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.